Welcome to another Unturned video. In part 1 of our two-part series, we'll be engaging in solo PvP on Washington against two three-man teams on a normal loot server with bullet drop. If you want to see part 2, drop a like to help us reach our 500 like goal. Thanks to all 30,000 subscribers and congratulations to the winner of our previous giveaway. Want to win party fancy glosses? Simply like, subscribe and comment below to enter this giveaway. Channel members have a higher chance of winning, so check out the link in the description. Today's video is sponsored by Sintail. I have recorded a ton of videos and streams for these servers, including a variety of maps such as Washington, Elver, Aerith, Kuwait and much more. They are quite active servers, fun to play as well. They have custom plugins, custom teleportation where you can whitelist your own teammates and players set rewards meaning you can win store gift cards. Sintail offers a very friendly soft team and offline raid protection. The servers available include 2 times, 5 times, 10 times or 100 times load, increasing the versatility for each player's liking. Servers are available both in EU and US regions. Soft applications are also open for whomever might be interested. And for our viewers we have a very special offer where you can use the code LD for a 5% discount on their website and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so we are in a Washington server. I have actually not played Washington in quite a while. Now let me fix these graphics a bit because everything was on Ultra. Now the server, there aren't really that much players on, which is good, but the server is... It's a military kit. Okay, yeah. It gives you a full military outfit from Russia and an Eagle Fire. Alright, that's not too bad. But other than that, I'm pretty sure that the server is full semi-vanilla, so there's not going to be like high times loot or any of that. It's going to be pretty normal. And if I remember correctly, there's also going to be bullet drop. There's somebody being extremely toxic in the chat. Make it our goal to try to find them and kill them. They're a three-man team. Yeah, there is a duo. Get ourselves a fire axe. Let's go. But yeah, first I'm gonna loot Seattle. From here we can get ourselves some pretty good items. Get ourselves a cobra as well. We'll be salvaging all of these. Try to get ourselves some metal because eventually I will want to build a base. Let's get all of these so we can salvage them. I'm gonna check out the military area obviously. And then after that we'll probably head straight to military base. Yeah, it is normal loot. Zombies drop one item. Since I'm gonna be solo, well probably it's gonna be more like a vanilla server to me except the fact that I can do slash home. We got ourselves a backpack too, lovely. Alright, hey, pretty decent start. Yeah, we got ourselves a chevron scope too. All I need now is a better gun than the Eagle Fire. If I'm gonna try to kill a three-man team or a duo. Yeah, they're talking in game. They have detonators and all of that. And I have been recognized. Alright, there's a grenade over here. <laughs> We got ourselves a military knife, that's better. Alright, I'm gonna run straight to military next, hopefully. Heartbreaker from there. Yeah, there's a small vault as well, that's pretty good. I'm gonna vault the Cobra. Alright, yeah, it's not really a vanilla server then, if we're gonna be using a vault. I'm gonna check down here, maybe there's a blowtorch because that could be very, very useful later on. But it seems like there isn't any. Hopefully this dude will drop one. I dropped chemicals, which is not too bad either. Now let's check out the gun store. Maybe get ourselves some ammo. Yeah, there's another Eagle Fire here. Let's strip that. Another magazine. Alright, so over middle, there's a tank and a blimp. It seems like coast is clear as well. I don't think there's anyone here. I'm gonna switch the clothes. I don't want to run around with clothes from another map. I hear shots. I think that's a heritage. Yeah, they're shooting Heartbreaker. Seems like someone already looted here. Yeah, there's literally nothing and there's some loot on the floor. I'm gonna run straight to heritage. Yeah, shots are getting closer. It's either the three or the duo. Another dude joined. Yeah, he's not as a solo though. I'm gonna turn my cosmetics off. Actually, I'm gonna keep them on because I look kind of ridiculous. All right, hopefully, I'm gonna put my gun to semi since I'm gonna be shooting a bit from far away. Yeah, there's three people as the trio. Yeah, I'm scared to shoot. I'm, I'm just with an eagle fire, man. Yeah, there's TPA in the server. I just checked. Oh, and they saw me. There's a maple strike. Yeah, they all three of them know about me and they probably are gonna push me. Oh yeah, he has a Timberwolf. Yeah, there's bullet drop and I'm just hitting the tree. Right, I'm gonna back out a bit. Yeah, they're pushing me. Alright, let's just med up while they push me. I'm gonna try to kill them, obviously. I mean, I don't have anything good on me. There's one guy right over here. Alright, he's dead. Hit him. Maybe I could try to make a run for his load. Right, one of them's pushing around. Headshot. One these shots. Bro, they're both weak. I hit them all. These guys pushing me. They're pushing me around all over. I have nine shots left. I'm gonna push this dude. Yeah, I'm dead. An airdrop is passing by. I'm actually gonna go for it. I only have a, I only have a cobra, so literally anything will be better. Yeah, it's gonna pass by quite close. Also, the other duo is now a three-man team, and the three-man team I PVP'd against is now a duo. So they basically changed. They're different people though. So perhaps if we try to find the other three-man team, then that would be good. Or I'll try to get a gun from here, and then we'll go back to Heritage, and we'll try to kill him. It's really anything better than an Eagle Fire, and I would have killed them. Also, I'm gonna try to find myself, perhaps, a base to take over. I think that's the easiest way to put actually loot. It's gonna land close to Paradise, and I think a base next to Paradise is not a bad idea either. 
Our airdrop is right here, and we got ourselves an AUG and a bunch of SMGs. Alright, well, I'm kind of happy with them. AUG is a pretty good gun. We got ourselves a Scaler, Empire, Bulldog, and Calling Card. Not too bad. Alright, well, I'm definitely gonna try to make a play with these guns, but I probably should find somewhere to store them so I wouldn't lose all of the gun. Yeah, there's a base right over there. I'm gonna go check it out. If it's unrated, good. We'll raid it later. But if it's raided, we'll take it over. Alright, yeah, this base is actually perfect. All I need is a door and a bed, and we're good. Salvage that, yourselves a door. Now I need to make myself a bed. Yeah, they're both three-man teams now. Right, perhaps if I do kit civilian, I get enough clothes to make a bed. I don't think I have enough, though. Yeah, I'm gonna salvage the police hat. We don't need that. And even the pants. We'll just get ourselves pants later on. And there we go. We got ourselves a bed. Now I need to make myself some storage. I need to make myself a saw, which is I do have enough. There we go. Now I'll use the saw to chop down some trees. Make myself some crates. And we'll go back to military and heritage and hopefully find that three-man team and kill him. All right, got myself a crate. I mean, for now, it's enough. We don't really need that much storage. We'll put all of the guns in here. All of this metal, the bulldog, and we'll just go with the AUG. Oh, there's a grenade here. That's pretty good. I mean, we gotta farm all of these so that later on, if we do get ourselves a detonator or a rocket launcher, we would be able to craft raiding gear. Oh, there's a guy right there. Right, let me get closer so I can figure out where the other two are. Oh, wait. He, did he fall off? Wait, where did he go? Did I just see an unturned ghost? He literally just vanished. Probably CP they around home or something. Yeah, they're gone. Some stuff up here. Oh, there's a timber wolf. It's empty, but I'm still gonna take it. That's going straight in my vault. I think these guys did a horde beacon because timber wolves don't spawn on this map. Or they have like a VIP kit or something. I don't know. Oh, well, they aren't here. Uh, let's go back to military then. Got ourselves an empty timber wolf. So if we get ourselves high caliber, then we already have uh, raiding gear. That's pretty good. Wait, there's people in there. Right, there's um the render distance bug. Are they in a base? They're literally floating, so they're probably in a base. Did we just literally find their base? We're gonna go and try to kill them, obviously. Problem is I have three guns on me, so if I die, I would lose three guns from that airdrop. I still have some more in base, obviously, but I've got some of the best guns on me. Also, I have been recognized on the server. I don't want to do that. I probably should have changed my profile photo. I did change the name, but some people are too smart. Yeah, it is a base. They're inside. We found a live three-man team base. Now, I don't know which three-man team it is, but we found one. Oh, he's coming out. Alright, one guy dead. Another dude here. Dead as well. Oh, yeah, at least back, fully decked out guns. Oh, he has a nitrate there. Desert Falcon. There's still another guy somewhere. Let's take the rest. They have grizzly mags. Oh, he's right over there. There's people here as well. Yeah, they didn't see me. This is the separate three-man team. I only have a scaler with 30 shots. I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's a full moon, so... Bro, it feels bad we lost against the last dude. Obviously, they homed with guns. But now we know where they live, at least. Alright, one guy dead. Another guy dead. I have four shots, so we need to pick up a gun. I picked up a saber tooth. We gotta kill the third guy before he pees him back. I should have probably picked up a heartbreaker or something. But it's fine. Saber tooth will do the job anyway. He's dead. All right, three-man team has been eliminated. Got ourselves a bunch of guns. Now right, we gotta clear these zombies. Got ourselves a chainsaw. This three-man team is being kind of toxic to me, and I don't know why. Probably because they realize that I'm making a video or something. But obviously, I'm not gonna stop until I raid their base or something like that. And these guys had some good gear. Got ourselves a heartbreaker, which is pretty nice. Shadow Stalker, some rails. Shadow Stalker is a pretty good gun. There's a Viper, Saber Toot. Alright, let me go depot these guns and then we'll return for the rest. It's a full moon, so we can farm over here. We can get ourselves a bunch of military items and guns and all of that. Alright, so for that day, all I did was I continued to farm a bit more for storage and then after that I did leave the server and then I joined the next day right so fresh day they got raided nice I did notice the sky base next to heritage though and uh, there's another metal base very close to here but there's still some stuff to raid currently it is quite early in the morning so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna farm as much as possible hopefully get ourselves some raiding gear easily but yeah we're gonna try to farm mega zombies as well I'm hoping for either a detonator or a dragon thing most of anything Maybe a rocket launcher for heritage. Our base is still pretty much fine. Didn't get raided. So yeah, it's pretty good. Alright, there's a mega zombie. Finally, we found one. I've been running around for so long, man. Please give me a detonator. I beg you. 
And he gave me a desert falcon. Nice. Oh, we've been getting a lot of loot. We're getting a lot of guns. Yeah, a bunch of raw and all of that. Now I also found another little base close to Everett. Let's put these straight in vault. So all I've been doing is I'm going from Heritage to Military to Seattle to this convoy over here and then to the helicopter crash site I'm just hoping to get any raiding gear we're not getting anything man we've been here already an hour today i didn't get anything good the struggles of playing on normal loot servers but it's fine we're still getting important items we're gonna need later on anyway and there's a flamer over there we gotta shoot that boy another mega zombie is coming we're gonna chainsaw this dude though yeah now he's gonna throw a rock miss completely oh he hit me actually never mind even if we get Haika, I'll kind of be happy because we have the Timberwolf and we could trade the wooden wall with that. What did we get? Bro, we got attachments. No way. We could literally got three attachments and a ghillie hood. I've never been more disappointed in my life. Or maybe a detonator spawned now. Nope. Even more attachments. Bro, I have so much attachments in base. You guys don't even know. I'm getting a lot of fully decked out guns as well. From this run only, we fully decked out another sniper scale. Look at these attachments. Alright boys, so I got myself quite a ton of high cal. I got two full boxes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go straight to the wooden base that I found. And hopefully it will be enough to raid a wooden wall. That's exactly what we're gonna do. And maybe we'll get ourselves some good loot from it. It's kind of like a little gamble. Because we're gonna use the only raiding gear we have on a little base. There are, there are only two people on the server right now though. So we're gonna do it in peace and quiet. And there is a, one of them right over there. Nice. I have the high caliber on my character. So if we die, we lose it. He's dead. Right, let's see what this boy had. Uh, some ammo, I'll take that. He had an ego fire. Strip it. Yeah, got yourself some ammo. Some food. And poor man just left the server already. I'm sorry. Alright, so this is the base I was talking about. So we will use Timberwolf. Hopefully we have enough. I finally broke. There's two wardrobes and yeah, I got an empire back some ammo. Yeah, this definitely was not worth it And there's a cot. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not a good raid I don't think we could have gotten a worse raid than this. Right, well back to hours upon hours of grinding again Let's go back to base. Next we still have some ammo. All right back from a loot trunk got myself some pretty good items Most notably as a sticker grenade. That's pretty much it. Got myself some metal Maybe we can start making some lockers soon as well Myself a housing planner, which I will definitely not be needing, but we got ourselves a second heartbreaker. And we're, st we're starting to get some pretty good loot up in this base. Alright, so for the past 20-30 minutes, I have been building a stairway to this guy base. I'm actually unsure if it's rated or not. I saw a wooden wall, so perhaps we can use the Timberwolf to go through with that. I should have some more ammo because I did find myself some more high caliber. And uh, perhaps with that one wooden wall, if it is unrated, we can get ourselves some loot. But let's see, we're just gonna have to build there. It's probably gonna take us quite a while to get over there. And I've been falling off quite a number of times, so thankfully I've got myself an umbrella. Alright, so we should have made it to the top, we just need to build a bit higher. Thankfully we're not losing oxygen, or it's not in sky limit. I did bring my bed over here, so if we fall off we would just home. Salvage this plate because I think it may actually mess with the slash home command and we wouldn't even teleport back here. Is it open from there? Yeah, it's open. Alright, let's get closer. Thankfully we got ourselves the umbrella. Actually, I think we might have to build over here because that's area. Because back there, it's gonna be the border of the map. I haven't actually built up to a sky base in a very, very long time. It kind of feels weird. Alright, I think we can do this jump, yeah. There's stairs over here. There's a door. It keeps going down. Yeah, it's completely sealed off from here. Yes, yeah, three floors. Okay. We need to raid the wooden wall. Wait, I think we can make this. Oh no, it's the border of the map. Never mind. Wait, but there's nothing down there. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, we're through. Oh, okay, there's two maple strikes. Wait, what? They didn't seal this base off. They thought that was the border of the map. We got ourselves two maple strikes. Lovely. Oh, yeah, we got ourselves the timber wolf. Let's use that. Hopefully, it's enough to actually at least raid one. There's a couple of wardrobes. Missile. Bro, the owners of this base are kind of stupid. All they had to do was a wall. But they wanted to save on metal. Let's raid this one. Hopefully, it's actually gonna have any raiding gear. I would absolutely love it. 
Back in base, we can make so much C4. All we need is the detonator. Or a rocket launcher. Even an empty one would be good. Alright, another magazine is out. I'm pretty sure the server actually has some base health. Alright, another magazine is out. Lost magazine. Please, is enough. Lost shot. Yeah, it's not enough. I'm gonna throw grenades. Hopefully, I don't actually kill myself. Oh, no, we're okay. Should I throw another grenade? Let's take the maple strike. Yeah, I still have one more grenade. Actually, I have two grenades. Let's put that over there. Lost grenade. It should be so weak, man. Yeah, it didn't break. Alright, lovely. Let's go back to base. And we will return with, I don't know, high cal or we get some raiding gear or something. But I'm happy we got ourselves two maple strikes. Especially I got myself the golden maple strike that I've gotten. Alright, time to go a little military or something. Alright boys, that's going to be it for part 1. Now part 2 we will continue with the sky base raid. We will completely raid that base and we will raid another base. And we will also get into PvP against a very very rich player. So if you guys are interested to watch that as the next episode, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!